How far does Jack is a fisherman? How would we know that? Like that? Okay, Oda. I like I like that. I don't hate it. I I like it. I like it. That's a surprise to me. There are no signs or hints towards him being a fisherman up until now. So I like that. I like that, Oda. Thank you. Welcome to John Guys. Welcome back to John Guys. This is New Light here. And chapter 1055 is out today, One Piece chapter. Uh, 1055 is out. So you know where to find it. If you, if you have not read it yet, you know where to find it, especially if you're a current reader. If not, um, it's not hard to find. So it's out there. So do that. Um, let's dive straight into it. But before I do that, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe and click that bell for notifications. And um, for, so first, right off the bat, um, we got Shanks on the front cover, red. Luffy is in a badass outfit. I'm digging the outfit. Um, this looks like for the movie red. And, and of course the the cover is red, so I'm pretty sure it's, it's sticking with the current theme. I really hope this movie does not disappoint. Honestly, um, everybody is in the One Piece world is looking forward to seeing Shanks in action. So let's dive straight into it. Um, Okay, yes, so the next next couple pages is the poster of the Red film. And Yuta is singing. As we know, she's going to be some type of star or some pop star. Shanks looking as badass as ever. Luffy looks, ang looks angry. Yuta is... She's hearing people scream, save us. Yuta Chan, the houses, the houses are burning. So somebody's getting attacked and she wakes up and says... She needs a pen because she has to make a song. So she makes a song. I'm assuming her power has something to do with music notes or anything, you know, in the form of art. Because that's what it looks like. It looks like she's just hanging out in some type of abandoned mansion. She's She's been mad her magnum opus. It's done. Okay. Oda drew this extra showing the moment Uda penned her new age theme. Okay. That's pretty cool. All right, so back into Wano. Um, we have, let's see, stop Yamamoto. Wow, well, we won't, we won't let you, why won't you let me fight? You mustn't lay a hand on him. Momonosuke is telling Yamamoto to, to not to fight this uh, Admiral. And she's asking why, of course. And we all know why, I guess. He really just wants to feel like he's the leader. And he's all of eight years old. I mean, even though with the time skip and the the rot rot fruit making him force him to become older or his his current age, uh, he still has a a long way to go. I just don't see him being that reliable at this point in the story, especially if he don't really know how to control his his copy of Kaido's fish fish fruit, mythical fish fish fruit. So, what else? Let's keep going. Just kidding. Fireproof forest. You're up against a, a Navy Admiral. You think I wouldn't be able to guard against such an obvious weakness? Mmm. Rizzo is, is... Oh. Oh, he, he zapped Razo all of his strength. Damn. So he, he has the ability. Like I said, if he had the ability of the first Hokage where he's able to grow forest, he was going to be trouble. And as you can see, this is exactly what he's doing with these guys, with the samurai. He can't, they keep cutting, but that's not doing anything for him or to him. He must have have some weaknesses, right? Is we we can we we like we really can do. So he's pretty much making light work of the samurai right now, which is kind of crazy because I'm talking about guys that actually made a dent on Kaido, or somewhat over dent. I, I digress. Okay, that was a. Uh, for that, that was for purely for entertainment. Um, were they really doing anything to Kaido? No, they they were not. Um, however, it seemed it appeared that they were actually doing something against Kaido. But at the end of the day, Kaido's like we've seen what he did, what he's doing currently. 
um, with the animations, with the origin generation attack. So they, they couldn't have been doing much more than than that. It looks like Law is with Nico Robin. And they're following Odin's father down on the ground to the Punglyph. A fisherman on their crew, the All-Star Jack. Jack is a fisherman? Wait, what? Wait, how how can he wait a minute? So Jack is a fisherman and he has a devil fruit. How can he still can swim? How far does Jack is a fisherman? How would we know that? Like that okay, Oda. I like I like that. I don't hate it. I, I like it. I like it. That's a surprise to me. There are no signs or hints towards him being a fisherman up until now. So I like that. I like that, Oda. Thank you. Yes, set loose one of the ancient weapons. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the ancient weapon is something alive, I assume. Um, so something is something alive, and that could be that could be a little. That's a little nerve wracking if you think about it. Like it's kind of like Godzilla. Godzilla. The last Godzilla movie, Godzilla swam on the ground into a part of the world that was open where he could get, you know, close to the radiation from the Earth's core. So if you think about it, that's kind of like what what is Pluton at this point? Is it a boat? Is it a ship? Is it so large? What, what would you need it for? What would you need Pluton for in a world where pirates roam? But let's keep going. Open the country and unleashes Pluton. Why would Kozioki want that? Why would Kazuki Odin want that? Everything I, I I have told you was passed down through generations of shogun, shogunate rule. I cannot speak what Odin may have learned himself during his voyage in the outside world. The flower capital. No man can hope to stand against the forces of nature alone. Get it? If Kaido was still in charge, I would have come here. I would not come here. Get it? If Kaido was still alive? Yeah. So you think, so this guy thinks that because Kaido isn't alive, he can roll up into Wano now. Because he kind of, Kaido was a force of nature. He really, he truly was. Shout, shout out to Kaido. He, man, that, that dude, he was the most gangster One Piece character I've seen. This dude was like, he drank, he drink, he, he gets drunk and he likes to fight. Like, what else? And he likes guns. He likes his toys. So shout out to Kaido. I'm sure living under his reg reg regime was miserable, but the order he imposed was different that kept other predators from targeting your country. Just brings me, just bring me straw head Luffy already. I'll, I'll leave you be after I take his head. We'll go get you some straw head Luffy then, man. We'll get you a mythical, go get some of that mythical uh, Paramecia slash zone fruit he has, Milo Nika. Go get you some of that, man. You deserve it. Let's call Luffy the gang and show this but this guy who's boss. That was unacceptable. The same goes for you. Do not touch him. After all that time chained up in Onigishima, you finally have your chance to be free. This is why I refuse to taint your standoff. Up until now, I have continued to rely on Luffy and Zoro and others, but it is imperative to prove that those of us who are staying here can repel any enemy on our own. If you still have to depend, <laughs> I'm almost crying. <laughs> if I still have to depend on people who wish to leave, how can you look? How can we look anyone in the eyes and say that one of us safe with us? That's true. Almost loose skin. Now be gone, you demon. Get out of here. You're just a spoiled kid. I guess even dragons can be pathetic. I said leave. Okay. Oh, he hit him with a blast breath. Yeah, it actually was effective. He dropped him. Amazing, managing to control his dragon form, but he still leaves much to be desired. Yo. 
Is that black lightning? Through the sky? Conquer, that's Conqueror's Hockey. Who the hell? The Red Hair Paris, you're here too? What? <laughs> All the newbies are, f are foaming at the mouth. Holy shit. Shanks is on the, in the building. I won't call you Marines cowardly or underhanded for this, but wouldn't you agree? Bad uh, form to go after these worn out sparlings, saplings, when they're exhausted from making pirate history. Oh, he's fucking pissed. He, oh, he's pissed. Does the new age frighten you that much? Ooh, man. Wait a minute. Let's go back. <laughs> so Shanks is sending Conqueror's Hockey across the sea right now to this location. How is he able to sense? Oh, now that I think about it, you can hear. I know one of the abilities of controlling hockey is being able to sense and hear people's thoughts. So what if Shanks can do that? At a wide range, I, that would that would make more sense. How he knows, how is Luffy doing? How everybody's doing? Where he needs to be? What's going on? The thoughts of people, the wars are coming. That would make so much sense. Think about it as Katakuri's future site. What if Shanks has the ability to tap in and satellite the thoughts of everybody around the world? In his, or at least in his vicinity, one, two, three miles, maybe, radius, then that would explain a lot of why he knows what's going on or what's the next step. Why, why is he always a, a step ahead? That would make sense. And why he would choose to let everybody play their own part. Okay. So he sent this Conqueror's, Conqueror's Hockey across the sea to Green Bull, uh, Green Bull, and Green Bull is shocked. And you can see Shank's ship kind of teeter-totting because of it, because of the hockey blast. That's what it looks like. If this is what he did, if, if this is what Shank's hockey did, it tilted his ship because he sent it in one direction. Man, we got to... We got an unknown. We still have an unknown emperor of the sea here that we have nothing know, that we know nothing about. All we know that he, at this point, he's got to be the strongest conquer hockey user. He's he's got to be confirmed um, strongest hockey, conquer hockey user user at this point because Luffy can't do that unless he's in model Nika form. I mean, he has a decent hockey reach, but we've seen him go up against people who have stronger conquer hockey, like they have stronger for use of their uh, Congress hockey. We've seen that with Kaido. We've seen it in Stampede um, when he went up against the the, the Rogers older, older crewmate. We've seen that. Um, so this would we're, we're dealing with somebody who is way more advanced in Conquer hockey. You know, we're talking about a Rayleigh on steroids. So I, I don't know. He tells him, when you agree it's bad form to go after these worn out sparlings, saplings, sorry, when they're exhausted making uh, making pirate history. Yeah, yeah, it's kind of it's kind of like they're. It's kind of like, you know, that's a cheap move, cheap move, uh, Navy. So I get it already. It's not like I want to pick a fight. So he's like, you know what? I'm out. <laughs> I'm out. Pick a fight with you guys. Not today, anyway. Look, <laughs> the <laughs> the Straw Hat Pirates. You got three the the three of the worst generation here. The three devils, Luffy, Zoro, and Sanji, knowing the whole time what they were doing, and more than willing to fight. Man, look at their faces. Like Zoro looks happy. Luffy's definitely happy. He's eating his meat. Sanji smoking a cigarette, doing what he does, and like, hey, 
you know, guess we don't need to lend a hand after all. Check Momo out. Indeed, in that hockey just now was really something too. Yeah, who was that? Luffy's like, yeah, it was pretty good. Some girl. familiar face just popped into my head. <laughs> a ship drifting in a vast ocean. Okay, so yeah, I mean, overall, uh, I like the chapter. Uh, that's what that's pretty in the chapter with with at least some of the action. Sometimes it just drives the point home of how great this this anime or this 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 manga is truly is. But um. That's it, man. And thank you guys for watching, man. I'll see y'all guys on next time. Thank you for watching a new lights reaction to this new chapter 1055. Make sure you hit that like button and subscribe. Until next time, I'll see you later.